In a study on the state of the global workplace, it was revealed that 900 million people are unfulfilled with their life. But with there being nearly 7.5 billion people in the world, I'm willing to bet my life that 900 million is a vast understatement. I mean, let's be honest here. We live in a world where we face unrealistic expectations, work-life imbalance, and the fact that life is just downright unfair. But here's the thing. We can either accept or resist this. The more we resist, the more trapped we will feel. But the moment we accept, the easier life will be because we're not trying to control it. We should channel our energy to controlling the things that we actually can, like our reaction to challenges, our mental and physical well-being, who and what we let affect us. And yes, it's tough, but it's a process, and one that I'm currently still going through. But I do believe that there is light at the end of the tunnel, light that can only be seen if we take life's challenges one step at a time and allow ourselves a chance to grow despite problems that will occur whether we want them to or not. And a great place to start is by finding your why. Literally ask yourself, why am I doing this? Why am I making this decision? Our lives should have a mission statement and goals to align with that mission. And this mission doesn't have to look like anything specific. Make it something that works for you and wakes you up every day. I had to resort to finding my mission and my why at my internship at NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab in 2017. I had experienced so many company cultures from Anheuser-Busch, John Deere, Toyota, Apple, and I was still unsatisfied. I was still unhappy. So once I got to NASA and things were still difficult for me, I quit. I literally quit the internship of my life. Not because I couldn't handle it, but because I was tired of not fitting in. I was tired of not having time for myself after work. But after a week of realigning my motives and finding my why, I realized that this opportunity was bigger than me. I was doing this for my mother, who worked endlessly to ensure that I had a quality education to even be considered for an internship at NASA. Had I stayed home, I'd be doing a disservice to my family, who supports me, or better yet, to the women and blacks who fought for my rights to even be there. So that's where it starts, the why. Next, you should be selfish with your time and make your life and career work for you. This starts with not feeling guilty to take breaks or using each and every second of your vacation time. We need this time to recharge and refocus. Which brings me to my next point of making our hobbies a priority. I love music, and I became increasingly frustrated as engineering pulled me further and further away from it. It took me eight years to finally bring it back into my life. And after a few months of taking music production seriously, I had the guts to attend the Revolt Music Conference down in Miami alone. To my surprise, it was just what I needed to realize that I could mix my love for music and engineering together. This realization, it came during a panel at the conference that discussed the power hip hop has to challenge social injustice. I saw this as a perfect opportunity to suggest that we should use hip hop as a vehicle to get more African Americans into the STEM field because it might help solve the, pro solve the problem. And have you seen the impact that Shuri has made with her technological advances in the movie Black Panther? And although the movie is fiction, don't you think that Snoop Dogg or DJ Khaled will make music and will make science and math a little bit more fun. But since I don't have access to either one of them, I decided to do something about it myself. DJ, drop that beat. Hey, hey. Y'all ready? Okay. Uh, uh, uh. X equals in this O, negative V, that's a motor, square root of B squared minus 4 AC for sure, now find a over 2, ay, over 2, ay, over 2, ay, over 2, ay. X equals in this O, negative V, that's a motor, square root of B squared minus 4 AC for sure, now find a over 2, ay, 
over to A. Over to A. Equals in his soul, about to saw quadratics. Now, can't you factor it? No, well, that's a method, that's the ride. Plug it in, I watch me solve. You know, we use coefficients. When we find them answers, boy, we look at the graph and plot the thing now. Two answers, Tommy. Where all the intersections at, Tommy? You may not get it right away, but you can practice every day. Don't be getting mad, cause all you gotta do is say X equals in his soul, negative B. Less or more the square root of B square minus 4AC for sure. Now find the root over 2A. Root over 2A. Root over 2A. Root over 2A. Over two A. X equals in his soul, negative B. Less or more the square root of B square minus 4AC for sure. Now find the root over 2A. Root over 2A. Root over 2A. And we out. Y'all did it. These are my cousins, Dylan and Jordan. Get them one more, one more for them. All right, 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 right. You see, creating this music allows students to learn with their culture in mind. And I'll be the first to admit that it's difficult to learn when every topic, example, or even the person teaching isn't relatable. I now get to be a part of the solution because I was bold enough to take a hobby of mine seriously. And lastly, it goes without being said that we must work hard and be diligent to be happy and fulfilled. But I must stress that we should never stop learning. If you feel that you figured it out and there's nothing more for you to do or learn, that's got to change. I make it a point to learn something new about the space industry each and every day. And from it, I've been able to join new conversations. Monday mornings are a little less brutal because I'm invested in my job. And we must do this without being afraid to fail. Embrace mistakes and learn from them. So it's that simple, y'all. Find your why. Be selfish with your time and continue learning. After today, don't sit and wait for things to happen because I promise they won't. Create a mission and put it somewhere visible. And don't do things because of pressure or because it's Facebook post worthy. Do them because they align with your why. Make a list of hobbies and vacations you want to take and make them happen. Invest in lessons, go to conferences you want to attend, and don't wait for people to save their money. Take that vacation alone if you have to. And continue learning. But do this with being okay to fail. Because we all will at some point. We each have to some start somewhere. Because it's all a part of the process. Thank you. <laughs>